In this video, I want to talk about making a box and whisker plot, which are used in statistics. Um, and the five values you really need to find to make a box and whisker plot. On the bottom part, you're going to find the minimum value of your set of data. Um, the first end of the box is going to come from the first quartile. The middle part of the box, well, not necessarily the middle, but where we draw the line, that'll be the median. Um, and then the upper part of the box will be our third quartile and then the biggest part, uh, kind of the, the outer little wing part, will be the maximum value of our set of data. So here I've got some numbers, 26, 30, 38, 67, 59, 21, 17, 85, 22, and 22. And the first thing you do is label these, order them from smallest to largest. So we've got 17, that'll be our smallest number. Let me squeeze it over here just to make sure. So we've got 17, takes care of you. It looks like we have 21 next, followed by two 22s. So 21, 22, 22. Um, it looks like the next smallest value would be 26. Um, then to, it looks like 30. Then 38. Then we've got 59, 67, and 85. Okay, so now we've got them from smallest to largest. Notice from this we can read off the minimum and the maximum. The minimum is just, well, the smallest value we have, which is 17, and the maximum is going to be this value 85. So that's what's going to go on the little wings of our box and whisker plot. Um, the next thing that we well, the other things we have to do, the first thing I would do is find the median. And remember the median's just the middle value if there's one single value, and it's the average of the two middle ones if there's an even, um, if we have an even number of data points. I usually just mark them off, so there's one, and there's one, there's one, and there's one, there's one, and there's one, so I'm just kind of pairing up the outside parts, okay? That goes with that. And notice we have two numbers left over in the middle. Okay, so that's going to be our median. In this case, we have to average them. So 26 plus 30 divided by 2. So that's just the average, which will give us 28. Okay, and now we look at all the numbers that are smaller than 28. Well, notice that 28 kind of fits right here in the middle. And then we do the same thing to find the, the first quartile. We basically find the median of the first five numbers. Okay, so we're going to find the median of that set of data that'll be our third quartile. And notice now if we pair these up, 17 goes with 26, 21 goes with 22, and now we've got an odd number. So that means our first quartile, the median of the uh, of the first five points is going to be the number simply 22 and then we can do the same thing to find the third quartile so notice if we pair them up or again you can just count there's five in this case so they pair up they pair up the middle parts going to be just like it was in the first part this will correspond to the value for um, our third quartile All right, and now all we have to do is simply make our little box and whisker plot based on all these numbers. So I think we've got all the numbers we need, the minimum, the maximum, the medium, Q1, and our Q3 value. Okay, so forgive my poor artistry. Um, probably not going to be the best, but hopefully you'll get the picture. So our minimum value is going to be the value 17. Our maximum value is going to be the value 85. Okay, so that's our minimum and our maximum there. So we've put those on there. Okay, our median is going to be at 28. So I'm going to put a dot at 28. So 28 wouldn't be too far up, I don't guess. So we'll put 28 right there. Our Q1 value is going to be at 22, so it'll be a little bit smaller. And then our Q3 value is going to be up here at 59, so we'll stick it a little bit out there. These become the ends of our box.
Okay, and then we make the line up and down at our medium value. So this is now our box and whisker plot. I kept calling them little wings. I guess I should have kept calling them whiskers. Um, so that's your box and whisker plot. Sometimes they'll kind of shade in the box, maybe kind of lightly. Um, I don't want to do that. It would just make my graph look cluttered up here. So, um, all right. I hope this makes some sense. Again, you know, the tedious thing for this, really, more than anything, is just labeling your data from smallest to largest. You know, just, and then it's just kind of some basic computation. So, something that's very well suited for a computer or a calculator. But if you have to calculate them by hand, this is how you do it. So, I hope this example helps and makes some sense. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them.